Stars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a holiday in London, England. Which star is it? Earl Holloman. Karen Valentine. Jonathan Winters. Bonnie Franklin. Burt Reynolds. Rosemary. Marty Allen. Ed McMahon. Or Paul Lynn, all in the Hollywood Square. And here is the master of the Hollywood Square, Peter Martin. Thank you, Kenny. Good evening, and welcome to the Hollywood Square. Hello, stars. Hi, Hi there. Oh, oh, oh. We have a young lady who uh, has recently moved to uh, Southern California, all the way from Pennsylvania. Hairstylist, mother of a young son, and in her off time, lifts waist, uh, weights. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, she lifts something, friends. This is Sis Rundle. Hiya, Sis. Welcome to the show. You're beautiful. Good luck this evening. We have a car leasing sales type person, married father of two, Auburn Taylor. Hi, Auburn. Nice to see you. Very good. Welcome. Good. Where are you from? Southern California? Yeah, Ohio. 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 Where about? Cleveland. Cleveland, yeah. That's Poland country around there. Madison, is that right? <laughs> Mount Vernon, I was Josh. We have a commercial. We'll be back after. Object for the players is to get three stars in a row, either across them or down a diagonally. It is up to them to figure out if the stars can be a correct answer making one up. That's how they get the squares. <laughs> Each completed game is worth $250 in addition to the first three games we buy for a secret square here. And next starts the first secret square for European holiday. We'll jet you from Los Angeles via Air Canada, which flies more people more often to more places in Canada from the United States than any other airline. So fly the airline that knows Canada best, Air Canada. You'll enjoy a week stay for two at the Royal Horse Guards Hotel. Superb views of the River Thames. And it's located in the heart of London, next to Trafalgar Square. Then on for a week stay at Ada's luxury Hotel de France. You'll stroll from the opera, the Tuileries, the Louvre. Fabulous Maxines in Paris, most fashionable houses of couture. Furnished by Ada International Hotels. And now take a look, because here is... The lovely Karen Valentine. And to drape my lady's shoulders during those special evenings in the town, Davini has designed this natural blue fox, three tier cape, and it's furnished by Dicker and Dicker of Beverly Hills. Oh, Thank you, Karen. <laughs> also, Caravel 17 Jewel wristwatch, water resistant day date, stainless steel case with matching link band, precision made for accuracy, dependability. Caravel by Bulova. And to remember your trip, do make 30 XL Super 8 millimeter sound movie camera and 810 HQS sound projector for high quality sound with all your motion pictures. Sound motion picture equipment furnished by you make and pack up your luggage from the famous Spiegel catalog with more than 500 pages new twice a year with over 50,000 quality items providing value selection and economy furnished by Spiegel okay Peter. okay Kenny let's go the home audience the secret square as one of the stars are brief before the show to help them with the bluffs but as always they're hitting the actual questions for the first time Albert start it all you won the toss good luck Marty Allen all right Mr. Allen according to the book the young Fords Fords President Ford taught his daughter Susan how to do it as soon as she was able to walk do what? Chew gum? <laughs> Throw darts at his Regan poster? <laughs> ski, ski. I agree. Right. Well, the next. Okay, sis. Bonnie Franklin. Bonnie Franklin, our friend who stars on One Day at a Time. Terrific actress, I'll tell you. Thank you, Peter. According to a recent survey released by the University of California, do most parents confuse their children when telling them the facts of life? Telling them the facts of life. Do most parents confuse their children? Um, I think that most parents probably confuse their children by telling them the facts of life the way that most parents would tell them. Yes. Sis? I agree. And as a result, many children come up with very strange <laughs> ideas of where people come from. I love the stork one myself. I think it's a neat one. And I believe it to this day. Let's put this over there. Robert? Earl Holliman. That's the secret story. Here we go. For $3,500, Earl. According to money's worth, who's the only man to have won the Nobel Prize, the Nobel Prize, twice? Linus Pauling, Albert Einstein, or Woodrow Wilson? Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. I'll disagree. Good for you. Linus Pauling, put an X there. Auburn, you are going for a two-week vacation in London and Paris. That beautiful fur, the sound movie camera, and the luggage. $3,500. Congratulations. And sis, it's your turn. Thank you, Ed, you're playing roulette. What is the highest number on the wheel in roulette? Oh, I want to say 35. Now, wait a minute. I'm not a gambler, so I'm not positive about this. I hate to throw you off, uh, uh, sis. Um, 
Well, that bless you, by the way. Um, I, this is terrible because I'm not a gambler, but I'll, I'll say 35. 35. Sis, you ch make your choice. What is it, sis? I don't know. Uh, yeah. You know what it is? It's 36. Oh. Uh, you've got the circle. He said 35. All right, Auburn, your turn. Call in. According to the classic old rhyme, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All good children go to heaven. One, two, three, four. All bad children go where? In the Dr. Denton's. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Paul. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, good children go to heaven. One, two, three, four. All bad children go to hell. To hell. I disagree. No. Uh, one, two, three, four. All bad children go next door. Yeah. You've got the extra. <laughs> Sis, your turn. Bert Reynolds. Bert? Yes. Bert, is it possible? Now listen carefully. Right. Is it possible to tell an elf from a fairy? Only if he's from the lot of pain. No. Elves will dance on your face. Uh, is it possible to tell the difference between an elf and a fairy? Of course. He said yes, it is. Of course it is. I think so, sis. I agree. I've seen uh, a lot of As an example, elves are tall and fairies are small. <laughs> yes, yes. You want to turn there, Robert, you turn. Jonathan Winter. Jonathan, incidentally, this is for $250. Uh, in the famous fairy tale, what did the wolf say to Little Red Riding Hood when she exclaimed, Oh, Granny, what long pointed nails you have. <laughs> what did, uh... <laughs> yeah, what did the wolf say to Little Red Riding Hood when she said, Oh, Granny, what long pointed nails you have. Well, could I borrow your tube of Revlon? <laughs> uh... <laughs> it's an early book. Uh, he said, uh... All the better, or something to do, all the better to um, uh, scratch you with. All the better to scratch you with. I disagree. All the better to scratch you with, my dear. Yes, I uh, can't put a circle there. Sis, you'll have to earn that yourself. Jonathan Winner. Jonathan, for $250. Okay, as Elwood. Yes. If you look closely at a bird, you will notice it is almost always smiling. True or false? <laughs> On PSA. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I must uh, explain, that's a little, there are a lot of, that's yeah. a California I airline, and we yeah, have that, uh, yes. That goes right down into the sand. Right, okay. Uh, but no. Elwood, if you look closely at a bird, true or false, you will always notice that a bird is always smiling. I think if you've had about five or six cans of beer, uh, <laughs> you'll see a lot of that. Uh, no, I, I, I tell you, I've seen a lot of birds. I've seen the American Eagle, I've seen seagulls, the Jenny Wrens, uh, Scarlet Tangers and everything, I've never, but... I guess you do, yes. I agree. Birds cannot smile or frown. I'm terribly sorry. Can't put an X there. You'll have to earn that yourself, Auburn. Okay, Jonathan Winters. Senator, according to statistical research on elections, do candidates with nicknames tend to do better or tend to do worse than ones without nicknames? That's a very interesting question. Uh, Senator, uh, do you have a nickname, first of all? I do, but I can't say it on the air. <laughs> <laughs> My state gave it to me. That's the reason I, I, I thank God I campaigned in New Hampshire. <laughs> yes. Um, but do, uh, uh, do I think, yeah, I, well, when you hear terms like uh, Honest Abe, I think we all know who he is or was. Um, uh, I would have to say uh, nicknames do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. He yeah. said nicknames do it. I agree. Nicknames do it. Yeah, you got the X, $250. Robert Taylor. <laughs> we have a commercial word we'll return to play another the secret square game. Another secret square game, Ken. And this time, Circle starts the secret square for Gamble Brothers set of butcher block furniture featuring two butcher block tables, a pedestal game table, and six modular storage cubes furnished by Gamble Brothers. And enjoy year-round cooking on a charm gold glass grill. Real barbecue flavor, instant flame that needs no starter fluid and leaves no ashes. The patio wagon plus all the necessary accessories for comfortable outdoor barbecuing furnished by Charm Glow Products. Plus, a gift certificate for $1,000 worth of steaks furnished by Bonanza Family Restaurants with over 600 locations coast-to-coast -coast, featuring a 
wide variety of family priced meals from Bonanza Buffet. Also, combine home cooked flavor with economy and boil in the bag convenience. Daisy Seal a meal too. Freeze now, serve anytime. Daisy products and a Western Auto gift certificate for a coffee maker. Redeemed at one of their 4,800 stores furnished by Western Auto. Plus, Hitachi's Four channel FM AM compact with eight track recorder. Wireless rear speakers can play a different program in a second room. Furnished by Hitachi. Okay, Peter, your okay, turn. Okay, thank you, Kenny. We'll show the home audience to Secret Square, and I believe Sis Rundle will start this game. Marty Allen. Jaja Gabor recently stated it was the biggest mistake of my life. What was it? She bought an Edsel station wagon. An Edsel station wagon. <laughs> and this. The biggest mistake of her life? Mm -hmm. Marriage. Marriage. I disagree. Uh, I think we need her last marriage. Oh, yeah. We, c we can accept that? Yeah. Okay. Marriage, we can... Her last marriage, she said, was a disaster. It was on... Took place aboard the Hindenburg. Put <laughs> uh, the next there. I'll give a break for you. Bonnie Franklin. All righty. Bonnie, in the famous book, Who Used to Call Peter Pan a Silly Little Ass? <laughs> oh, I know. Um, I played Peter Pan. Uh, Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell. I agree. Right. With another X, sis. Um, Paul in. Paul, Pope Paul, recently said that something must last even if love fades. What is it? Oh, the Sonny and Cher show. <laughs> Something must last even if... Even if love fades, the Pope, what is it? Uh, a marriage. A marriage. Marriage. I agree. Mm, yeah. Two marriage questions. You're 50-50. Yeah, that's right. Okay, put it in a circle there. Auburn. Earl Holliday. Who created the famous literary detective, Jane Marple? That was our lady, Agatha Christie. I disagree. Yes, the late Agatha Christie. Uh, put a circle there. Sis, you're back in the game. Burt Reynolds. All righty. For $250. <laughs> Would you say that again just for us? Burt Reynolds. Yeah, okay. Uh, for a tie game. Would you say Bert. it again for me? <laughs> Burt, yes. Clara Bow was the it girl. That's right. Lana Turner was the sweater girl. That's true. Who was the oomph girl? Oomph girl. Mm -hmm. Beside me. Besides Rosie, yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing, sis, you know, because I don't know. I haven't had many oomphs lately. Uh, the it girl, the oomph girl. Uh, Aunt Sheridan. Aunt Sheridan. I disagree. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was guessing. One of the nicest ladies that I think I ever... She was a children. fantastic lady. Yeah, she sure was. Yeah. Can I can't put... Yeah, we can't I'm put sorry, her next sis. there. It was uh, Aunt Sheridan. Okay, Auburn? Jonathan Winters. Sir Trafalgar? Yes. Does the Queen of England have a court jester? Yes, he's quite small. <laughs> and uh, I believe he's from Manchester. <laughs> Rather bulging eyes, tiny waist... Great little body overall. <laughs> and HMS Quinton on right arm. Uh, I don't know. I, I would say here we are in 1976. Court Chester would seem a bit out of place. <laughs> I just can't go along with it now. He said no. I agree. Of course not. You have yourself $500. Congratulations. <laughs> the Secret Square. Nobody chose Ed. We'll have a commercial for Return to Play in the Secret Square game number two. And it starts the third Secret Square for a houseboat vacation. That's right. You'll cap on a houseboat on Lake Chasta, California, and explore the 370 miles of wooded shoreland, fish, swim, and water ski for a family vacation furnished by Bridge Bay Resort and Marina. And to get you there, an air-conditioned car furnished by Budget Rent-A-Car for fine transportation at competitive rates. Available at airports and other locations nationwide. Budget Rent-A-Car. Also, Rain Dance Car Wax from DuPont. Lasts longer than any leading car wax. Water beating proves it. Take along a $500 assortment of Ditto's Tops and Jeans. You'll feel the fit because every pair is hand-measured. 
side saddle pants, high rises, pre wash denims, furnished by Dittos. Plus, a $2,300 sailboat, the Cuppy 13, designed for family fun, handles easily, cabin sleeps too, with cockpit storage compartment, self riding features complete with custom designed Guppy trailer, furnished by Mellon Marine. Now back to Peter Marshall. How are you Show the home on East Secret Square. And we will uh, start, I believe, with Auburn. Burt Reynolds. According to a recent uh, university research, uh, research, uh, do women really find music more romantically stimulating than men, yes or no? This is Johnson and Masters, or? No. <laughs> Just a couple of guys in the Yeah, room. they said, hey, let's find this out. Do women really find music more romantically stimulating than men? Uh, gee, I don't know. I, I have had much success with music. Uh, just a punch in the mouth usually gets them. Uh, I'd say yes. I agree. Yes, they do. Well, the next, sis, your yeah. turn, dear. Here in Valentine. True or false? Doctors have warned that X-rated movies are causing a rise in coronary problems. A noticeable rise. She said yes, that's true. Yeah, they say the flicks make the heart beat faster, the glands work harder, and the blood pressure climbs. I mean, okay, put a circle there, Auburn, your turn. Ed McMahon. Traditionally, Ed, something that every U.S. Marine recruit goes through takes 45 seconds. 45 seconds. What is it? I look bad as a Marine colonel, right? I look very That's bad, right. but I was never at, through boot camp. Um, 45 seconds. Could that be just getting up out of bed and getting on the ground, being in attention? Could that okay, be possible? Let's find out. Getting up out of bed at attention. I disagree. The haircut. 45 oh, seconds. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. the X there. Sis, your turn. Fall in. Fall, true or false. A big bust. A big bust can cause fatigue, back aches, impaired breathing, and even numbness of the hands. That's why I kicked her out. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have fatigue, back aches, and very breathing, and numbness of the hands, eh? But can that can that happen? Yes. I agree. That's true. Yeah. One, <laughs> one doctor says the weight of a big bust is the same as hanging two great weights around your oh. neck. Yeah. Put a circle there. Auburn, your turn. Rosemary. What is the scientific term for the study of man? Cruising the boulevard. <laughs> That's the way I do it. Um, the study of man. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, I know that. Uh, anthropology. I agree. Uh, no, it's his turn. Oh. Will you agree? I agree. Well, everybody <laughs> agrees. Yeah, okay. Yeah, put it next to us. This is your turn. Marty Allen. That's the secret square. Here we go. <laughs> Okie doke. In the movie We Willy Winky, which starred Shirley Temple, was it based on a story by Tennessee Williams, Rudyard Kipling, or Edna St. Vincent Millay? We Willy Winky, was that based on a story by Tennessee Williams, Rudyard Kipling, or Edna St. Vincent Millay? Second one. Uh, Rudyard Kipling. Rudyard Kipling. By Kipling. Rudyard Kipling. <laughs> no, we can't. We, let's serious up here. No. It says Rudyard Kipling. I agree. Right! Circle gets the square. <laughs> well, you got yourself a hospital vacation? They say that people long ago. <laughs> Uh, that is our tacky buzzer. That uh, It's an inopportune buzzer, but it, it worked okay for sis because you've got yourself a hospital vacation, the jeans, the sailboat. On the last question of the evening, you've won yourself $3,700. Congratulations on that. Also, you've got three circles up there. That means uh, $150 in cash. And we thank you very much. We have parting gifts for you, sis. But, Auburn, you're the big winner tonight. You also won a secret square. That's worth $3,500. $650 in cash. And you'll drive away from these Burbank studios. Congratulations to you. On the Johnson Beach Hotel, your lectures like power front disc brakes, tinted glass, full reclining bucket seats, nylon carpeting, all vinyl upholstery, white sidewall tires, and full wheel covers. The economical B210, furnished by Duxon. All righty. Congratulations to uh, all of my players here. Bonnie Franklin stars in One Day at a Time. Nice to see you again, my dear. Burt Reynolds' new motion picture is Gator. 
uh, that he also stars in, directs, and uh, co-stars and I'm, with... I'm crazy about this. Uh, yes, I know you are. Rosemary, you did a motion picture yes, recently. Yes, I did. Uh, Ed is in it, too. It's called Dick and Jane with Jane Fonda and George Segal. Oh, Ed McMahon, you play the boss, don't yes. you? Yes. A nice guy, bad guy. Bad, kind of bad guy. Yeah. Also, Ed has a new book. It's called Here's Ed. Yes. Earl Holloman, Policewoman. And Karen Valentine, nice to see you again, my love. Jonathan Paul, a role. Everybody say goodbye. We'll see you here next time on the Hollywood Squares. Have a good evening. Thank you very much. A Jackson Pollock painting once sold for $10.5 million. A Picasso self-portrait was bought for over $43 million. A Japanese businessman paid $82.5 million for a Van Gogh. Tim drew this and won five grand. It pays to be an artist. Win, lose, or draw today at 11.30 a.m. Eastern only on Game Show Network. This has been a Merrill Heater, Bob Quigley production. University Research.